What's going on guys? It's Moto here, and today I am bringing you the first of a, a brand new series where we try and climb the showdown ladder, and today's is you you. This is my favorite tier, and I'm especially happy because my personal favorite mon is back in you you, and that is the all-powerful Alexam. Now, before we get started, just a reminder, leave a like. Dislike, comment, positive, negative, just let me know what you guys want me to do, and I will deliver. Now, I should actually probably get some music in the background, so... I know, so unprofessional, right? <laughs> well... Mm, let's see, let's just get some music in here. That should be good. Okay. Um, there we go. Now, before we get started, let's make sure to follow my Twitter, like, dislike, comment, negative, positive. You know the drill. Anyway, let's just go over the team quickly. As you can see, I got some. Got a lot of teams. This is my UU team. It's featuring, finally back, the Alex Zam, Old and the Focus, Sash, Magikar, Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball for them, Swamperts. Psy Shock and Shadow Ball, just 252, 252, Timid. We got Gajil, the Mega Agron, Heavy Slam, Earthquake, Rock Polish, and Stone Edge doing 188, um, 52, 96, 21, or 24, sorry, 24, and 148. This is actually very, very calculated to make sure that I can live certain things, outspeed certain things after rock polish, and it's going to put in the finest work. Next up we got our physically defensive Steve Irwin the Crocodile, holding them leftovers, Rock and the Intimidate, Earthquake Knockoff, Taunts, Stealth Rocks, 244 in HP, 12 in attack, 252 defense, Impus Nature, it's gonna be a monster. Next up we got H2O the Vaporeon, holding that leftovers with that water absorb scald heal bell wish toxic nice and specially defensive calm nature next up we got frost liz the frost lass this is our choice scarf cursed body ice beam shadow ball thunderball trick just straightforward tricking all that scory scarf hidden hard next up we got monkey king the infernape Rocking that Iron Fist Expert Belt, Overheat, Gunk Shock, actually I should change this to Blaze. There we go. Blaze, Overheat, Gunk Shot, Close Combat U-Turn. Rocking that Naive Nature with 4 in special, special Attack. 252, 252, and that's the team. As you can see, we got our... We got all of the guys rocking each other right over there. Let's just make sure that we make this male because... Female has the small mustache, and the male is me. So, let's go. Let's start. Let's see. The first challenge we got is Noah. Oh, there we go. Go suck an egg. Thank you very much. So, he's got a powerful team. I see a lot of major threats. He's probably going to lead without Gavantula to get webs up. So let's lead up with Monkey King. Leads up with Galvantula. Not even bad. So I, he's probably going to go into Arcanine. So I could hit him off with a U-turn. I could just go for a gunk shot to get some damage off. But I want to... No, he doesn't have him. He doesn't have any fairy types. So gunk shot is less useful. That said, it can still hit hard. So do I go for U-turn, predicting the switch? If I do go for U-turn, I could just go out into Frost Liz and just fire off a Shadow Ball or an uh, Ice Beam. Wow, Earthquake, yes. Do I think he's going to go into the Arcanine? If he goes into Arcanine, I have a really, really good check being Vaporeon. So, oh, I over-predicted. Well, uh... He's gonna go for a rock. he's gonna go for the webs, so 
webs are up. That's kind of unfortunate because that really hurts the Agron's rock polish. But, uh, let's see, what does he have to take? I should go for an Ice Beam, or do I predict the switch to Snorlax? Nah, I'll just go for the Ice Beam. Knocked out the Galvantula, one threat down, let's go. He could go into his Snorlax, and I'd have to pull a... I'd have to switch out, obviously. Arcanine, that's even worse. But that said, I can still go into Steve Irwin. Let's fire off that Intimidate. Willow, oh, that's problematic. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Stealth Rocks hurt his team a little bit, or I could go for the Taunt. So I'm gonna go for Taunt. Switched out into Milotic, that's pretty good for us. Let's just go right into Vaporeon. It's probably gonna... yep, Scald. Now I could Toxic it, or I could heal- I'm gonna Heal Bell this turn. Chestnut. I could go into Monkey King, and I think that's my play. So, let's see. Common question of the day, what is your favorite UU Pokemon to use? Mine right now is Alakazam. But it's probably going to go back to OU because it is a powerhouse. But for now, my favorite is Spiky Shields, okay? He's going to see my overheat. But right now, mine's Alexam. But if it's not Alexam, it has to be my Mega Aggron. Aggron is my favorite Mega, I know. Shocking because, oh, Corey, you like... You like Alexam, so wouldn't Alex Mega Alexam be your favorite? Nah. My Lodic. Okay, well. Gonna fire off that does nothing. That's probably specially defensive. I'm gonna go go for that mighty U-turn. Go straight into Vaporeon. Toxic. That's nothing. I could potentially Toxic the Milotic, or whatever wants to switch out, or switch into, so I think that's actually my play. Confuse Ray. Ah. Don't be that guy, bud. So, hit him with another Toxic, see if I can actually connect. Chestnut, we do connect, let's go. So, the Chestnut is now toxic I have a Toxic Vaporeon. That's no fun. Monkey King, come on out. Let's go, buddy. Leech Seed misses. That's what I like to see. Oh, uh, I can't... So, he's probably just going to go back to his Milotic. So, I'm going to go for the Gunk Shot. Nope, Spiky Shields. Okay. Should have saw that one coming, but I'm glad that I did use like, use Gunk Shot. Now I could overheat or I could Gunk Shot again. My play is to, or I could close combat. But I think I am going. I think uh, that's a tough one. Or I could just U-turn out. I feel like he's gonna switch, so I'm gonna go. Yep, there we go. My Lodic switch. Go for that U-turn. I could bring out Alakazam and just go for an Energy Ball. Or I could go for Frostless and trick a Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf, Milotic. I'm gonna do that, actually. Okay, or he might switch out. He's not sure what I'm gonna do, so... Let's just trick... What would, it, what would his switch in be? His Arcanine. I do not want an Arcanine having... A scarf. Oh, that no, that's a bulk. That's a bulky Arcanine. But doesn't matter because now I have the leftovers. 
Toxic. He's Choice Scarfed into Toxic. This is best case scenario, because I can go into Vaporeon now and heal Bell. Oh, that's a very nice switch on his part. Very nice switch on his part, actually. Just because I know that it does get wild charged. That being said, it is shown to be defensive. So I don't think that he's going to run it. So I'm going to go for the heal bell. Because I feel like he's going to have to switch. There we go. Into Metagross. Heal bell goes off. Luckily not Mega, but... Metagross is still a problem. <sighs> and probably has clear body, so Crocodile. Still my play. Unless he has hammer arm. Don't have hammer arm, buddy. Clear body. Doesn't get the intimidate. Stealth rocks. Okay, so. This is his physical wall. I'm gonna go for a knockoff. This is a free knockoff onto the Milotic. So, so far we've seen Skull, Toxic, Confuse, right? And I'm guessing it's going to be Recover his last move. So he has nothing to hit this Vaporeon. Scald, give me that beautiful HP back. Let's go. Now, my play is probably to Toxic, or I could just Scald, because... Or I can just get a Wish. No, I'm gonna... I'm free to Scald right here. Confuse Ray. Didn't I... Oh, I guess knocked off the Choice Scarf. Ugh, that was... Was not really paying attention. Whoops. Well... Let's just go for, uh... Toxic himself. Heard it so... I missed the Toxic. That's no fun. Well... I'm gonna let the Toxic go up a little bit. Just... I don't wanna... Should I guess I'm gonna go for a skull rest? Oh, he's a rest Milotic? Interesting. Hmm. I know he does not have sleep talk. So this could be a free switch into as Alakazam or into Gajil. Gajil's not smart, so I'm gonna go to Alakazam. He goes into Chestnut, I go into Zam. This is a great position that I am in. So let's see. This is a free Shadow Ball or Psy Shock. Hmm. Let's see. Psy Shock hits everything plus it's stab. So I'm going to go for that Psy Shock. Spiky Shield, that's fine. You're going to see that I have Psy Shock. It's not going to matter. Toxic racks up a little bit. Now do I predict the Metagross and go for Shadow Ball? I should have. Well, this doesn't matter because he's still going to get a Psy Shock to the face. Now do I go for let's see. I am at I have a Sash, so I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. Try and get damage off on it. If he goes into Snorlax right now, I will be very impressed. That does a lot. I'm going to switch out, obviously, because I do not want to take another Earthquake. So I'm going to go into my Crocodile. How much will this do? Bullet Punch. We can see that does 15%. That does n relatively nothing. We can see that he's faster. Nothing on his team really appreciates an Earthquake. Or I can just get my rocks up. And that is what I'm going to do. He goes into my Lodic. I set up my rocks. Win-win situation. So, he still has another turn of sleep. So, I'm going to taunt him. And now I go into my... Vaporeon. Okay. These rocks, his, his webs are constantly annoying, but it's okay, because now I'm going to heal off. I'm going to go for that nice, or I could go with a wish. 
I'm going to wish this turn. Scald, give me that beautiful HP. Wish. Heal, Bell. Why did he do that, though? Vaporeon hard walls this Milotic. I'm gonna go back into Krug, even though grass, ground, yeah, not the best combo, but I know I can take a wood hammer. That does barely anything. I know I can live another. My play is to EQ, or is it to taunt? Cause he's, yeah, my play is to EQ. EQ goes off, doesn't do much. Toxic though, might, how much will Toxic bring it down? Oh, the Leak Seed too. So I'm going to switch out here. Um, I'm going to switch into you. He goes for Spiky Shield. It fails. Uh, I'm going to go for Overheat on the chance he does not Spiky Shield. I should be... Oh, he just goes straight into my Lodic. I have the burn? Nope. Then over it even burn. Does not. I'm missing a U-turn out into Vaporeon. Toxic, oh no. Uh, I'm going to go for a Scald here. Yeah, Confuse Ray. Oh no. We get the burn, no burn, but that's okay. Neck, I'm gonna go for one more scald. Next turn, I'll heal Bill. Rest, of course. <sighs> hmm. This turn, this is a 42 turn max, so this might only be a single max this game. I can actually wish pass right now as long as he's. Okay, that's interesting. Snap that out of confusion. Get the wish off. He's gonna die to toxic, probably. No, he does not die to toxic. Uh. That's unfortunate. But I, anyway, I can still live any hit that he goes to. And this gives me a free, basically renewed crook. As long as he does not crit here. Was that a higher roll? Damn. I think he got the higher roll then, but that is okay, because he's probably going to go to. Let's go to Monkey King for some, and then I could just U-turn out if it's not favorable. <sighs> Let's see. This is not favorable at all, so he could just... I'm not sure what he's going to do yet. He's probably- he might just switch into his, uh, Milotic. Oh, he doesn't- okay, that's troubling. Uh... Let's go into vape. There's nothing he can do. We'll probably kill. So, Morning Sun, that's unfortunate. Let's get a wish off. Metagross comes in. Wish goes off. I'm gonna heal Bell. Just on the off chance that I do live. Actually, I'm gonna Scald. Just not. I don't live. He has Bullet Punch, though. Um, this is a good chance to go into Agron and just fire off a good hit. So do I go Earthquakes my play? Goes up. Earthquake goes off. Arcanine comes in. 
How much will this do? It does a good amount. Oh, that does a really good amount. But I might have. I'm gonna go into Monkey King. Not sure what he's gonna do. He could just go for another Morning Sun. Yeah. I live on 1 HP. I'm gonna go for that. Does he have extreme speed? No, but I hit him with that powerful... There we go. Let's go. Monkey King putting in the finest to work as always. Goes into Metagross. We all know what's coming. That bullet punch. I go into Agron. I Earthquake. That does nothing. Let me show you what a real Earthquake does. That kills. Metagross goes down. He's probably gonna go into his Milotic. Yep. This still has a couple turns of sleep. I'm free to... Do I go Heavy Slam? Uh, I'm gonna go Heavy Slam or... Let's see, Earthquake, which is better. Heavy Slam's my play, I believe. No, wait, I, I always forget. Water resists steel, so. I could just go into Frost Lass. So into Frost Liz. He should have one more turn to sleep. He does. And now I fire off some Thunderbolts. Thunderbolt doesn't really do much. He's gonna probably confuse Ray, okay. I'm free to fire off another T-Wave. Uh, well, T-Wave. Thunderbolt, I mean. Don't hit yourself again. Yeah, it did. Come on, Frost Laser. You're supposed to be better. You're named after the proest to Sneasels herself. Come on. Thunderbolt goes in. Don't rest. Get the para. He's gonna rest. Damn. Sometimes I hate people like this. Hmm. Let me go for Shadow Ball. See how much it does. Okay. So Thunderbolt is my play. Wish I Thunderbolted instead of Shadow Ball. He's gonna go for a rest again. <sighs> yep. It's okay, he does not know. A Shadow Ball and then a Energy Ball might be enough to finish it off, so. And then Agron, I believe, can take on a Snorlax, so. You go, Frostliz goes down. Frostliz, you put in some work. I'm proud of you. Finally back, the Alexam comes in. I go for that strong energy ball. He just dies, hopefully. Energy ball crit. Crit might have mattered. I don't care. He was using a rest Milotic. It's too stally. Snorlax comes in. I'm gonna. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, crap. I guess it. Uh, that was a misclick, if you could not tell. I meant to click Psy Shock. I accidentally clicked it. That was a mistake. I rushed. But. Yeah. Earthquake's my play. Earthquake does a good amount. Don't be. That's it. I'm gonna Stone Egg, hoping for crits. There's a crit. Don't be rest. Don't miss either. This guy's resto, chesto, everything! I hate this. This is nothing, oh my god. That does so much. 
Come on, get another crit. Gajil. Gajil, you're... Listen, buddy. There's a crit. Let's go. Don't go. Okay. He's just being that guy. <sighs> get another crit. Damn. Body slam does 20. I think this is GG, but this guy you stall. I don't like stall. GG. Too much stall. This guy, will this guy be a good sport? He is going to be a good sport. Okay. Well, that's going to end this episode. Sorry it was so long, but one battle was all I could get have time for. Two... I have something to go to in 15 minutes, so if there's another battle that takes that long, I won't be able to do it. But this is Modo, signing off. See you guys next time.